Hello there, and welcome to Shop Fix, a community joined together for the love of woodworking. My name is William Mandry, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to change out planer blades on a DeWalt DW734. Now, this process is not hard, but it can be achieved very efficiently if the right steps are taken. And when I first did it, I wasn't sure exactly how to do it, so it took me a while to figure out the first time, and I think if I had a a well-explained video, I could do it much faster, and that's the purpose of this video. So we're going to take a look at this, and one thing I want to mention is the reason that I changed out my planer blades was because I was getting really bad feed rate. So if you're having that trouble where if you're sending boards through and they literally won't even go through, oftentimes it's because your planer blades just need to be rotated if they haven't been used on the other side, or if you already use both sides you're probably going to have to buy new ones to replace them. So let's get started changing out these plater blades. Hey, welcome into the Shop Fix channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, consider swinging over to my channel page for more. Let's begin this process by making sure our planer is unplugged from its power source. Next, we'll remove the dust hood from the planer. Lowering the cutter head will allow us to have access to the tool tray and the planer blades much easier. Next, you want to use the T-wrench to remove the tool tray. Once the tool tray is removed, the cutter head should now be exposed. Now you'll want to use a piece of scrap wood to move the cutter heads until they lock in place. Once the cutter head locks into place, you can now remove the eight bolts that hold down the knife clamp. Be sure to set these bolts in a secure location so you don't lose any of them. After removing all eight bolts, you can use the magnets on the top of the T-wrench to attract the knife clamp and remove the clamp from the blade. With the knife clamp removed, you can use the magnets on the T-wrench once again to remove the actual blade from the machine. Be sure not to scratch this blade on any metal surfaces and handle with care because it will be very sharp. If your cutter head got caked with sap during use, make sure you clean it off so you get a secure attachment next time you screw it down. Here's the blade after I clean the sap from it. Now you can use the T-wrench magnets to hold the blade while you fit it into place, making sure that the cutter head that's now exposed is the new side, or if you're replacing them, make sure that it's the new blade. After reinstalling the blade, I simply wiped it clean. Using the magnets on the T-wrench once again, I can hold the knife clamp and rest it gently on top of the blade and then start securing it down with the bolts. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Shop Fix. If you've enjoyed this video and found value in my content, consider subscribing. Let's continue by tightening these bolts down with our T-wrench.
Now you want to locate the locking lever, which is on the right side of the machine with a little indention for your finger. You'll want to pull this and it'll unlock the cutter head and allow you to rotate it. Once you fully rotate the cutter head with the block of wood, you'll hear it engage the lock once again and you can repeat the steps that I just showed you two more times to complete all three planer blades. Now let me repeat those steps for you once again. First, you want to remove the eight bolts from the knife clamp. Then, using the magnets on the top of the T-wrench, you'll attract the knife clamp and remove it off the blade. Then, using the magnets on the top of the T-wrench once again, you'll attract the knife and remove that from the machine. If only one edge of the knife is worn, first, turn the knife around so that the sharp, unused edge hangs over the edge of the cutter head where it will cut the material. Two, Reset the knife clamp by aligning the beveled edge of the knife clamp with the cutting edge of the knife. 3. Place the screws through the holes in the knife clamp and the knife into the cutter head. 4. Tighten the screws sufficiently. After all these steps are repeated, you can now take the tool tray and place it back onto the cutter head and tighten it down with your T-wrench. Afterwards, you can store your T-wrench back on the tool tray. Now that we have that done, we can plug the machine back in and install our dust hood back onto the planer. Now before installing these new planer blades, I couldn't even get a board to go through my planer. So here's for the first test run. Oddly enough, it didn't work as well as I hoped on the first pass and I was actually worried that it wasn't working well. I soon found out that this was not a problem, it was just the planer blades getting broken in and this usually only takes about one shallow pass, and then the next pass works smoothly. Now let's try a second shallow pass and see how it works this time. There we go, just as I had hoped. Well, I guess we can call this repair a success. If you have any questions about any of the steps taken, feel free to comment. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the ShopFix channel and hitting that like button. Well, thanks for watching, and until next time, have fun with your ShopFix.